Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of Jupiter Plays All the Games, this time with the GM48. This is the 40th edition of this game jam, which challenges developers to make a game using Game Maker in 48 hours. The theme for this specific one was side effects. I'll be playing each game for about a minute, 10 per video. Links to the individual games will be in the description, so you can check them out further if you'd like. And this video, as always, is brought to you by lovely people on Patreon who support me so I can continue to play so many game jam games and cover little indie games. If you'd like to support me, there'll be links down below, and you can follow me on Twitter. Let's get started. We're playing Xantitol? Xantol? I have no idea. It's WASD, and then we can shoot. Okay, so we feel like we're in the body. Although I'm not really able to kill anything yet. Got lots of things attacking me. And lots of them take quite a few hits before they're happy. These blue things are really multiplying. So we should probably get rid of them so they don't continue until the screen's completely full. Is this me collecting those? Looks like it might be. So I feel like once you get rid of the core blue one, other things aren't going to get stuck in it and they're not going to be protected as much, but I also feel like definitely not doing as well as we could. <laughs> I feel like these frozen uh, attacks, frozen bullets, are not as helpful as I would guess they would think they would be because I need bullets to go out now. There's so many blue things on the screen, so much multiplying. It's a very interesting game though. We held up for quite some time. But yeah, things are getting dicey. <laughs> Next. We're playing Reach the Outpost. I like, or output, reach the output. I like the music. Welcome to this game you play as a small data recovery tool inside an unknown system. Your job is to get the information to the output while optionally recovering more data for the user on the way. You can move the mouse, you can move with WSD and aim with mouse. You may shoot with space. These fellows are called rogue bits. They are unstable bits that randomly change their value and in doing so release a small projectile that can destroy you. They shoot at random. But if the player attack them, they will aim for the player next time. Be careful and shoot them if absolutely necessary. These are firewalls. They go on and off at intervals. Time your moves past them. And last, these are antivirus functions. They are programmed to hunt down any software that's still running on this lockdown system. And we've got upgrades, so green objects are good. And data packages are also probably good. Alright, cool. Just wanted to get into the meat of the game. Oh, I can't touch any of the walls. Got it. So we have quite a big ship, or whatever, and then when we move, like, yeah, it's a bit slidey. I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to get far in this. I can get this. Alright, we got through. Oh, I ran into the bullet. The bullets are very small. Let's just go up and see if we can get to that. We don't need a data package. We're not completionists. Alright, so we got past that. Just being very slow with my floaty movements because I definitely don't want to die against the wall because I am slightly floaty. No. Wow, what a challenging game. Next. We're playing the attack of the DVDs. There's D, shift to go fast, and then we can shoot. I can't actually seem to shoot at the minute. Maybe I have to like gain bullets first. So this is like the old screensaver when you had uh, your input on your TV on your DVD player. It didn't have any DVDs in, isn't it? Like how they're changing color. They didn't do that on my com on my computer on my DVD. That looks like something I can get. Will that let me dash or shoot? Oh, it didn't let me dash or shoot, and I died. I died because I was messing around with it. Oh, very simple game. 
Looks interesting though. It looks like we can change our main character just by the screenshots into different abilities, but there's no way to restart, so. Next. We're playing Symptom Death. Alright, space jump, but we can kind of like wall jump. That was pretty cool. Now jump towards the wall and keep tapping space to wall jump. Got it. Except I had the wrong key pressed when I got up. I'm going to be careful. Press F near an altar to bind your soul to it. I'm guessing that's sort of like checkpoints. You can hold F to die. Yeah, it's a checkpoint, isn't it? Cool, cool. It's me playing around with wall jump. Every time you die, your soul carries the powers of what killed you. When in spikes in WCD, launch yourself. Okay, and now we are... We are spikes now. That's amazing. I think you're ready to go now. Climb the tower and rescue the princess. That was pretty cool that we became... We became spikes. Like, not actually very useful. Alright, maybe we should become spikes. But then we're just launching ourselves, though, aren't we? Oh, but I guess that kind of makes a spot. Oh, but that just destroyed us. Yeah, I can just jump up here. I'm trying to make, like, some sort of spike-related platform. And as it turns out, all I needed to do is just survive. I'll bind. No, I don't want to. I want to bind my soul. I almost just died for no reason. Oh, that wasn't a good jump. That, however, is what I was trying to do before. Just, like, make a little platform. What a cool game. Next. We're playing clinical. Do people actually read these magazines? All right, so I'm like in some sort of spaceship. Drink will cost me five zloty. And there's no one here and it's a medical center. We just need to find a pen to sign this. All right, so we can't go in there. What about, hmm. That's frustrating as I can see the pen. But we'll have a look around. This feels a bit scary. But I guess hospitals let's do. The IV bag is knocked down, spilling mystery fluid everywhere. Sounds bad. I need to fill out a consent from the front test before taking these. Okay, so. The thing is, my guy, you can't open up the little thing. You can't hop over it. You just weren't doing that. So how am I meant to get the consent form pen? I uh, see the pen. We have this door though. The gate is locked. Oh, okay. Just hop over it. it looked like we were stuck for a second there. I don't know, this game feels creepy. I don't know where the key is. Next. We're playing Leaf and Death. The sun. You are my last hope, hope, little bud. I shall name you Leaf as you are a leaf. Leaf. Listen, well, young sprout, a necromancing witch has taken over. From the grasslands to the desert to the bog, she has squeezed out its life in favor of undead soldiers. I ask of you, please save us from this curse. Help us and we'll help you. Each region you clear will cast an effect onto adjacent regions. It's literally a side effect. Speaking of side effects, each benefit we give you comes with a cost. Beware of these side effects and their side effects. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, oh, also don't forget, use WSD to move, left click to attack, and toggle full screen. I have no idea what that means. I, I do, though. I just kept coming towards me. Oh, okay. Choose an effect so I can teleport, I can heal poor tile, my attack speed down, income damage, move speed. Let's, uh, let's do income damage, but move speed. Go here. My move speed didn't matter. My oh, wow. Don't do that. I don't like you. Still quite quick. Range, so attack damage, uh, move speed, but attack damage, move speed, enemy speed, move speed. Range attack. I'm gonna take this one. I don't know if I'm actually doing this well, but you know. Oh, is it only there for then? 
So is this... I think that the uh, side effect and effect only lasts for one level, though. It's not, like, continuing to compile them. Let's heal for a kill. I don't even know what the downfall of this was. Oh, I've still got my pea shooter, though. No, don't do this. You were terrible. I'm just trying to heal up because I do have some of my health gone. Well, that didn't really heal me. Teleport, I don't really care about teleport. Enemy speed, move speed, move speed, attack damage. Hmm. Wish I could have picked none. And I'm back to this. I don't have a pea shooter anymore. Oh, they're like charging at me, not attacking towards me. But I wish I did more damage. I've like really hurt my damage. It's taken several hits to get these guys done. Attack speed. And I don't even think I ever gained any, like, health. I do... This does look interesting. There's going to be all these different quadrants. Next. We're playing two tickets to the gun show. He's got a bar on his back. Oh, that fires missiles. Okay, yeah. Oh, no. That's what we're fighting. Okay. Look at... Look at the beautiful effects when we hit the rocket. That's so cute. <laughs> this is wild. It's a very simple game. But there are a lot of great like effects and details. Oh no. I like the song, too. I'm not really sure what's going on or how they came up with this idea, but... It takes ages to get rid of these tanks at the bottom. What a wild game. Next! We're playing Scarecrows. We look like the scarecrow. It's a space bar to hit. But I'm a little bit afraid of being like so close to the scarecrows because I can't actually Oh wait, they turn like a grey when they're in range. Okay. I didn't realize that. I was like, I don't wanna <laughs> be too close to them. And am I supposed to leave the green things? Like will they grow into plants? I was collecting them before, but they kinda look like seeds. Oh, that one's growing. Yes, yeah, so I'm not meant to touch them. That makes this way harder than I thought it was. Me collecting all of the green seeds. They aren't even going to attack the plants. So you really want to want to decide where you're going to attack things. They do take a while to- oh, that'll give me lives! Oh, wow. This is a clever game. Yeah. Next. We're playing Tank Effect. Uh, let's just start, because we don't have any way to upgrade. Oh, wait. There we go, we just need to go there. Do I take these? I don't look like I take these. Not like these infinite bullets flying around. It's gonna make this very hard. Oh no, green bullets move differently. I like these bullets best. You really want to only hit something with one shot because the amount of bullets you use are bad. Who knows where blue bullets are going? Yeah, we could just, like, at one point leave. I should have gone to the menu to upgrade, maybe. It didn't take me there, though. We could just leave the bullets going and then just work on dodging instead of firing more. And then maybe that's safer. Because the green is slightly off. See, like, that one was gotten, was destroyed by a bullet we had previously shot. Ugh. Blue ones are wild. I'm suddenly taking a lot of damage here. Yeah. Hmm, I wish it took me back to the upgrade shop. Next. We're playing alien infestation. 
The pill does nothing, unfortunately. This would have been a buff. This would have been a buff. Press escape to no... Press escape to escape. Alright. I don't know what it means this would have been. Ah, I can't seem to attack. Or at least I don't know how. Hmm. I don't know, the description says you can move and shoot and stuff in game and it says to just try buttons to do all of that. Um, I don't know. No buttons I'm trying. Oh, I've restarted. No buttons I'm trying are allowing me to... Oh, wait, there we go. K. Okay. It's J. It's J. Not K. So you can select a pill, but they don't do anything at the minute. Interesting. I think we've made them angry, actually. This isn't good. I didn't know this was gonna happen. How many of them are there? I just wanted to get through. Yeah, I don't know. I like the art style a lot, though. It's very cool. I don't know how to kill, like, the actual nest. Ah, we're gonna die. Yeah, next.